Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Portal Masters of all ages. It is Brylander with Portal Power TV, and we are back with another episode of Skylanders Ring of Heroes. Um, I am, I've just been grinding and grinding away. Uh, there was a recent update uh, a few days ago, and trying to get accustomed to some of the changes. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, you know, or at least I don't like them as much, but... You know, I think the game is still being tweaked or so forth. So, anyway, kind of just show you where I'm at. We do have uh, two uh, good events today. Um, one is we will be unlocking Barbella, as you can see right here. Uh, so, we'll be summoning her. And at the same time, I will be awakening, as you probably saw by the thumbnail, uh, we'll be awakening Gilgrunt. So, I do have him the ability of awakening. We'll wait uh, for just a little bit into the video and do that. But um, we'll do some of our quick gameplay and just kind of where we are with some things. So um, every single day, um, as I've said in some of the previous videos, some of the things you want to do every single day is, of course, you go to your guild, uh, you do your attendance check, uh, you claim whatever rewards you get, you check and see if you've got any more rewards uh, through this section here. Um, and then you can also request um, some soul stones uh, if there's one any in particular that you need so if you have any that you can donate and you can afford them like here someone's asking for 10 hot dog soul stones um, i have already unawakened him so i can definitely afford to donate those i'm going to uh, donate the full max 10 on this and it gives me 120 extra xp for my guild and gives me 70 um uh, of the uh, guild rewards uh, so forth. So, um, get out of that, and then um, you always are going to want to go through your adventures, and at bare minimum, uh, do the level 7 of each, um, or should I say, what are they calling it, uh, stage, um, what do they got, yeah, stage 7 of each and every level uh, that you can. So, if you can accomplish both the easy and the normal uh, and as many as you can get up through there. You want to do those because those are um, soul stones that you can only get on a limited basis, but if you do them every single day over time, it's going to build up and be helpful. So you definitely want to make sure you do that. And I pretty much do all the way up through, I think I go into level four uh, on normal and I complete that. I think once I start getting at level five, I'm not sure. Yep, I was able to complete that on normal too. Uh, and it's the farming version where it just automatically auto runs and stuff like that where you don't have to sit there and do it personally yourself the whole time. Uh, but you set it up and let it grind. So I'm on level six. I'm just on easy. I haven't actually beaten, um, gone up through the ranks um, in level six. Um, so once I do and can, can farm that, then that will help out a lot. And then, of course, in your distorted dimensions, uh, depending on which elemental levels are open or dungeons are open that day and if you have any particular um ores or anything like that that you need to farm for and elixirs uh you want to farm for those as much as you can because that's how you basically level up in the game so all right going back to here that's pretty much what i've been doing you also are going to want to go through here i haven't done the cave of gold yet for today um, we may do that at the end of this video um mirage tower i am stuck at level 40 i've talked to several people um, I think Jap28 stuck at 40. I think Portal Master is stuck at 40. Uh, it's apparently a really hard level. Um, so just haven't gotten my team powered up enough or a team powered up enough to be able to tackle level 40. I'm hoping I can before everything resets, but I guess it doesn't really matter because then I can start from level 1 and build myself back up to that level anyway and hopefully get some extra um, ores and, and level stones or power stones. What do they call them? Um, Level up stones, power up stones, I can't remember what they're called. Um, when I'm always in the spur of the moment, I'm always having a trouble remembering what some of the terms that they're using here in the game. So, well, I can find out right here. If we go over to inventory, we look at our materials. Uh, the ones I'm looking for are these things right here. The upgrade stones. Okay, so that's what I'm referring to are these upgrade stones. Um, so, I have used one recently um, on, who did I upgrade? Um, I think it was Kaboom. So if you look here, uh, my team is, is shaping up quite nicely. Um, here's all of my ones that I've got leveled up to five star. I've also got uh, a, a few awakened. There's quite a few in the four stars. Um, I, I'm not quite high enough to get a, um, a six star. Uh, I'm close um, with Stealth Elf, uh, but my power up, I need to get these um, upgrade elixirs, the large. And until you're like level 7, level 8, 
uh, in the uh, distorted dimensions, you're not really going to get those. So your only option is in order to get these uh, these elixirs is you have to have... See, I have zero down here of the, the large elixirs. I've got 43 of the medium and 1,163 of the small. Well, I can upgrade these mediums uh, to large, but just to do one, it costs 20,000 gold. That's expensive. So you have to really need them. And I think the game, uh, you know, the, the developers need to maybe level that out a little bit. I think it's a little excessive. Uh, Portal Master and I were kind of discussing that via a chat. And uh, the, the cost for gold to change a medium elixir to a large elixir or small to medium um, is way excessive. It's just way excessive. So hopefully they'll level that out at some point in the game. Uh, but for now, that's what it takes. So if I need one or two, uh, let's see, if I needed one, um, I'll combine it and just do one for time now. And I'll go ahead and do that. So now I have a large elixir down there. And it's telling me I can do something with it. Let's see, if I go over here, and one of my next ones that I'm going to do, I'm going to be evolving, uh, uh, who is that that I'm wanting to evolve? Um, well, I, it may be Stealth Elf here. Uh, first, I've got to power up. I have one of two, so I actually need one more of those, and I need some of these life ores, which, again, I go back over to the life ores. Oop, not the, uh, not the events. Not what I wanted to do. Um... The ores, if I look at the lives, I have zero large ones, and it's going to take me, if I want to combine, it's going to take 10 of them. I only have five mediums. So I would have to combine 10 of the small ones. Um, you know, and I can only make four. That's going to, that's going to cost 20000 And see, it's just, it, it's a it's cash grab. Um, you know, our gold grab in this particular case. So it gets really expensive uh, to be able to do that. Anyhow, um, I think uh, some of the things that I have left to do for my missions for today is, let's see, I need to power up a rune three times. That's usually pretty easy. We'll go straight to there and we'll just click anything, pick a rune, uh, go with one of our, let's see, I think if I go off and then back on the runes, they're gone. Good. So I can pick any one of these runes like this. It's already a four star and just power it up. Um, it's easier, less expensive just to power one up. Two and three. There, I achieved that mission. That was that easy. So I go back over to my missions and I can claim that. And then what else we got? We have to spend the gear. So I only have to use one more gear. Uh, that, of course, is done in the arena. So we'll go to the arena, which means I have to do a duel here. I've got this up here to claim. So, and then duel. So let's see if we can't find someone to battle. Eh, we could probably play with these guys here. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we don't get beat, but we will find out, won't we? I hope not. I am going to take that. Let... She's been taking people out quick. See, look at that. And now let's use him because he's charged. Good, she's out of there. That was the most important one to get out. And let's see if we can take... Oh, it's all up to Kaboom at this point. He's on his charge. I don't know what's going to happen here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Take it. Take it. Oh, not quite enough. I'm afraid. I am afraid. There we go. Come on. Dang it. There. We got beat. All right. But regardless, I got to use the gear, and that should have activated the last I needed of the four. That brought me down a little bit. If you notice, my points up there is 1774. Uh, that puts me in the Diamond 2 level. Um, if you want to kind of see where the levels are, um, since most of you don't have the game yet, um, Diamond is anything over 15, uh, 1750. I'm trying to get to, before the end of the day, hopefully I can get to 1800 because uh, tonight at like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, um, my time, is when it resets. And if at that time, 
uh, I am still at the 1750 or hopefully the 1800. I'll get 1200 gems, uh, and I'm I'll be up at the 20 20 um, rewards for whatever that thing is called. Let's see the um, rewards, the arena shop. There we go. Um, using whatever these things are called, the um, arena rewards. I don't know what they're called. The medallions or whatever. So uh, currently I've got 480. I don't think I want to really spend them right now. Um, I'll wait until I'm like ready to level somebody up or something. But here I can claim this. And then last but not least is to purchase some wish stones one time. So if I go there, I actually have up to 17 of uh, that I can use right now. So we'll go ahead and do that part now. We'll go through and do all 17. We'll just burn through them. And we will see what happens. Y'all want to do it in fast mode? Yeah, we'll just do it in fast mode. See what happens. See if anything shows up worth a hoot. High five, ice cream, guild grunt. Rage mage, hot dog, red potion, nothing to speak of. This might be extremely underwhelming. Ooh, Thunderbolt. I think I needed some of those. I'm trying to level him up, and he's one that's hard to get uh, soul stones for. All right, we are cranking away. I think I've only done about five or six of these so far. I'd love to get something brand new in addition to unlock. Looks like everything I'm getting is things I've gotten already. Red potions. I usually sell those now. Was hanging on to them, but I realized the gold cost. Again, way too high to use them. Alright. Rattle shake, blue potions, jump chest. I don't know how many more we got, but I'm gonna keep running through till I run out. Ooh. I always like when it does that. It's like, ooh, it's a little bonus. Spyro needed those badly. All right, that was my last one. So I'm glad I got the Spyro. Um, Soul stones, because as you'll see here, over on Spyro, I am needing to power him up. No, I don't need power him up. I need to evolve him. I now need 10 more. So I needed, obviously before those, needed quite a bit more. So now I need just 10 more, and I need at least 40,000 in gold. But I will be able to evolve him and make him a 5-star, finally. And then start taking him, working on leveling him up to level 60. So and it's just a, and then the grind starts all over again until I get him close to level 60 and so forth and so on. So I've got quite a few more in here, but before I do go any further, let's go ahead and unlock or summon um, Barbella. And I'm gonna switch screens for just a second. I want you guys to see full screen on her. But uh, there is Barbella, and we are going to summon now. Awesome. Alright, screenshotted that so I can post on social media. And so there is Barbella. We can take a quick look at some of her stats. Uh, pretty low right off the bat, you know, 33 attack, 23 defense. Pretty high in HP, HP's decent. Uh, so, but we'll have to immediately start working on giving her some runes. And, um, but before we go any further on that, let's go ahead and awaken Gilgrunt. Now he looks great. And we screenshotted that. So, awesome. Awakening complete. Now I can work on getting him up to the next level and keep on going, battling up, trying to get 
teams that are more powerful. Let's see what I got in my missions done. Well, I get to claim both of these and claim that. So I'm done for my daily. Uh, weekly, I think I've been done for quite some time and it resets tomorrow. So that gets to start all over. And it's just a matter of going down each one of these and seeing what I can claim and so forth and so on. We'll go down that path. I did recently, uh, if you'll notice, I did recently reach level 30. Um, and then the collection, what's this telling me here? All right, so we've got, what's it telling me? Claim, claim, claim. Oh, um, there's that. And then the water. Why, why is it giving me that? Oh, down here. Awakening complete. Get to claim that. That's awesome. And then over here, I unlocked Barbella. So just turn that off. And we got some relationships. Ah, love this. I think uh, actually because of Gilgrunt, we got quite a few. All right, first of all, Barbella gave us the got your back. Um, not even Wolfgang could get through this duo. All right, not sure why that is. Uh, no need to be afraid. We've got your back again with the Guardians. Ooh, 1,400 wish stones. We might we have some more to wish stones to play with here. All right, scanning, scanning, scanning. I think that was the last relationship. Okay, yeah. All right, last relationship that was. No more to claim. All right, so we had more wish stones then. We got two two more. Let's see if we get anything. Maybe uh, second round will give us something worth a hoot. Nothing. One more. All right. So, a big whole lot of nothing. Anyway, I think what we'll do is um, I will start just playing some levels. You guys can hang out, continue to hang out and watch if you like. Uh, but that's pretty much it as far as just me talking and explaining things. We're going to go into the challenges. I'm going to go ahead and do the Cave of Gold right now. Um, and I can play up to three level th times with this. I usually do level three on this because I can clear it pretty easily on auto. And so let me just make sure that the crew that I want... Um, it's in here, so I usually take almost everybody out, save it, and then unsave it. And then it puts everybody on the right over here, you can see, back in their power order, like most powerful to least powerful. Um, so for this, um, I think I'm going to use Thunderbolt, Kaboom, and who else do we want to use? Maybe... No, he's a low... Low on the totem pole. No. There we go. I think that'll probably get us through. I don't want to use um, Stealth Elf because she's maxed out. And she doesn't get any extra XP for the time being because she's maxed. So try to use um, Skylanders that aren't maxed. Uh, but I do want to put a couple spectators down there. And so I have been working on powering him up and chopper so we'll save there and see what happens see if we can get through this level of gold i've got it on auto um i usually will assist so to speak actually that's not the power i wanted for kaboom i should have paid attention to that first i've been changing skills i wish they would let you like permanently lock the new skill um, and it doesn't change every level that you reuse them. I hate that. All right, let's put Broccoli Guy in there to heal. Oh, he didn't get to do his deal before. All right, let's go with that and go with this. And... Take that out. One more, and this is only round one, or it's actually round three of this, but you can do the whole cycle three times. All right. Yeah, Kaboom's first skill there does like a bouncing, you know, a little hit, like two random one that you're targeting in a, in a random one. And sometimes it actually hits the same one twice, which is even better. 
I personally like that. What do we get? 7,200 gold. I'll take it. And retry. Second time around. Out of there. All right. So with um, Thunderbolt here, I really only like to use his first skill. Um, to me, his second skill is almost useless. Um, super weak by comparison, at least. Um, on Kaboom, um, his first and third skill uh, seem to be the best. Actually, his third skill is a countdown skill, but um, I didn't activate it before I did this. And so unfortunately, I'm playing with his second skill. But we're making it through just fine, so I'm not going to complain. Alrighty. Uh-oh. She's zapping us. Alright, we should be able to take her out with one more good hit from Thunderbolt, unless she knocks him out first. There we go. All right, I was right. All right, that was number two. See how much money or gold we get for that. 18,000, awesome. Not the highest I've ever gotten. I think the highest I've ever gotten was 30,000 gold uh, for one level or one round or that, you know what I'm saying. All right, let's get that one and I got that one and place that and put that in the queue. And let's put this back in queue. Okay, there we go. I just try to keep them queued up as much as I can as soon as it lets me queue in. You can only have three queued. And as soon as um, one of the three queues drops off, I'll usually try to put another one in. Depending. Alright, there we go, Thunderbolt. You're out of there. Here comes the Golden Queen, third and final time. Let's cross our fingers and say we get even more gold than the other two rounds. Alright, let's take that one, this one, and this one. Queue up those three. Alrighty. All right, she's going to go down pretty quick here in just a second. Awesome. So that's something that you have to do every day. Uh, well, you should do every day because then you get a whole lot of gold for pretty much nothing. Um, I should be powerful enough to start using level 4 instead. So 7200, not too bad. Not as much as I was hoping for, but... So anyway, so now I can no longer play this for the rest of the day. I'm done. Uh, but, going back into challenges, you can see here for Realm of Souls, I have finally got into the part where I can beat all eight levels um, every day. And that's a big thing. Each and every day, the um, three Skylanders that are down here, the featured Skylanders, change. And so, uh, you can basically just get a whole bunch of extra uh, Soul Stones. Uh, I think the first um, set, each time you look at this, uh, you see how basically it goes uh, chill, tough luck, Snapshot, chill, tough luck, snapshot, and then chill and tough luck again. And each time I think it goes 10 soul stones each. The next set does 15, and the next one does 20. Uh, at least that's what I've been experiencing so far. So if you make it all the way up to, up to the 8th level, uh, you're getting 20 soul stones of the first Skylander listed there. Um, and so if you're looking for those, that's a great way to get more soul stones. All right. And then in the adventures, like I said before, um, or the Mir Mirage Tower, I'm kind of stuck at level 40. Can't seem to pass that. And where are we at? Let's see, duels. Um, 
I still have, I have to win two more uh, before I can claim that last doohickey. Now this is someone who beat me earlier. I don't know if I want to play that one again. But I can refresh, so I'll refresh, see where we're at. So there's a level 22, 1800. Hmm, this looks like similar to someone who beat me earlier too, but we'll have to see. They're a lower number, uh, both in level and in their power score. But I've had people like that since they re -up uh, updated the game. Uh, I've been having people like that beat me, and it just doesn't make a lot of sense. So anyhow, let's go ahead and see what we have. What happens? I usually try to take out uh, Stealth Elf first, just because she's usually the powerhouse, and my biggest heaviest hitter is normally Light Thunderbolt. I'm going to start the charge on that. See, they took out just in one hit. This is just crazy. Ugh. Yep, this is where I... Come on, take that. Let's go here. See, I was hoping to keep on the Kaboom because he was going to do a charge shot and was going to help out quite a bit. See, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on. We might still have a chance at this. We might. Oh, heal us. Heal us. All right. I think we got it. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Ugh. That hardly put a dent in him. We're not even denting Enigma. Come on. There we go. Finally. Phew. That was a tough round. All right, but I'm back up to 1787, uh, so I only have um, 13 more. One more round probably would put me at 1800. That would be excellent if we can manage to pull that off. Um, let's see what we got down over here. See, over 2000. That's probably going to beat me. 20,000, excuse me. I can't talk right. There's a level 21. It's an 1836. He's only 21, but his... Uh, his total score was higher than mine. So I'm not really sure what to do here. I'm almost afraid of um, Astro Blast here because I haven't really battled him very much. We'll, we'll risk it, okay? We'll risk it. I'm going to see... Wow, in one hit, Astro Blast just took out Kaboom. That's crazy. Um, I don't know what to do. I mean, there's no way that Stealth Elf is going to survive another Stealth Elf. And uh, Enigma. Yep, see? Took it out. 21, I'm a 30. Okay? And it took me down that fast. Something is completely unbalanced with this right now. Completely unbalanced. Anyway, just don't say I'm not bitter. It's not that I'm bitter. That's just unbalanced. Sorry. All right, so we're going to go back to the... So now I've got to be able to get two more battles. One at least to get up to 1800 before the day's over. Uh, and I'll have to come back and try to get that at a later, later time. So um, I think that's really all we have left. Uh, we could always do a friendly match. Uh, you'll see I've already done some today. Um, the friendly matches are something that's new. It pairs you up. Uh, you put your team in, and then it pairs you up with someone allegedly close and level to you. Um, I get my lunch handed to me more times than anything, so we'll just have to see what happens. See, I, I'm pretty sure I'll lose this one. His Kaboom. Let's see. Kaboom's going to be the one I want to take out this time. So we want that. I want to charge that. Oh, get that one done. Get this leveled up. Oh, dang it. I don't have the one I want on charged on Kaboom in the first place. Yep, they took out Kaboom. Come on now. Come on, come on. Blades, what kind of damage is Blades doing? I don't like this. Come on, give me... Nope, there she went. Alright, well I've only got one more to go. I need some life. Come on. Yeah, I'm not making a lot of impact here. I need 
Broccoli guy. Heavily. Awesome. Nope. Oh. Come on. Come on. Not hitting the right one, you idiot. All right. I need to power up. Oh, that hurt. Oh, look at that. That, see? Ugh. That was a good match. That was a good match. Even though, again, they're lower and so forth, and they're still beating. My win rate's less than 50% on the friendly duels. So, again, I think they need some work balancing this out. I don't know how they're choosing who gets to play against who and so forth. But, anyway, uh, you should be able to at least check your opponent's uh, on the, the friendly match, you can't decide who you're getting paired with. They are just randomly pairing you with somebody. Um, and it, they made it sound like it was going to be like you could do it with your friends. Well, that's not really true. Right now, it's just they're, it's a friendly match, but it's not with your friends. So you're getting randomly paired. You don't get to choose who it's going to be. Um, eh, you know, hopefully they're listening to the people who are giving them uh, advice or, or whatnot namely some of the influencers or whatever and uh, they'll eventually add that to where you can actually select who you're getting to play and uh, you can do it live with yourself because I've done some live where we've we've like Jap and I went in and we both played at the exact same time we pressed the button and we got paired because we we went in at the same time and it paired us um, so that was fun you know knowing that you're battling someone you know a uh, whole different element to the game so come to us if you're listening that has to be in the game you've got to find a way to make that happen so anyway, I think that's going to be it for today's video. For those who hung around to the very end, I appreciate it, and we will see you in another. If there's anything you guys want to know, again, don't forget to ask the questions down in the, in the comments below. I will be doing some individual um, Skylander, um, not, not status, but features uh, on certain Skylanders and about them in particular. Uh, Kaboom is going to be one of them because he is becoming a powerhouse. And... Um, Definitely Thunderbolt is one of my favorites as well. So in another video, we will be spelling out uh, why that is. This is Brylander with Portal Power TV signing off. Take care and God bless.